Switch on the printer and go to the control panel. Now select the language and click OK. So this is the second screen and we can see it says download or finish the setup using the Epson Smart Panel app. So that is going to be a very long way and it may have some issues in the app. So better is to click on the no button and click OK to go ahead. Now click OK button again. We are going to fill in the ink. So click OK. On the screen it says we have to fill in the ink and then come back to this screen to finish the setup. Open the ink cartridge chamber. So that is here. And also open these bulbs. You will see the alphabets and the colors. So match the ink and fill in the tanks here. Next step is to fill the ink tanks. Fill them one by one. So I'm going to show you one as an example. So open the ink and simply place it here. Press it little bit down and it will start filling up the tank. So it's very simple. You can repeat the process for all four inks. Once your ink is full, simply shake it and take it out. Now close the bottle. We have filled all the ink tanks so we will close this and go to the printer screen. Once the initialization is complete click OK. Click OK for the print head alignment. Click OK to start the print head alignment. Now load the A4 size or letter size paper in the paper tray. So simply pull this up, adjust the size, place the paper and confirm on the main screen. Now click OK to confirm the paper is loaded. Click on the print button. Now check if there are any missing lines in the printing. So there are no missing lines so click no. You can adjust the print position or you can just do it later. Print head alignment is complete. Click on the done button. We can see the main screen of the printer. That means printer is ready. We can do the copy. And next thing is to do the Wi-Fi setup or the wireless setup. So for that scroll ahead and look for the settings. Scroll ahead and select network settings. Scroll ahead for Wi-Fi setup. Wi-Fi recommended. OK. Wi-Fi setup wizard. It will display the Wi-Fi network list. Select your Wi-Fi network and click OK. Now enter the password and then click OK again. Printer is connected to the Wi-Fi network as you can see the blue light on the top. Now we can use this printer online so you can add in your laptop, computer or a Macbook for wireless printing and scanning. So this way we can do the setup of this printer. Thanks for watching.